Nintendo GameCube emulation with Dolphin surprisingly first came about in 2003, when the first version of Dolphin was released. This was at a time when the GameCube was still Nintendo's main console. Although it was more of a conceptual release, it proved that Nintendo GameCube emulation was possible at the time. In 2008, Dolphin became an open source project, which is when the rate of development and quality of emulation really ramped up. Since then, it has established itself as the best choice for Nintendo GameCube and Wii emulation. Plus, it is one of the most simple emulators to get up and running with. In this video, we're going to take a look at setting up Dolphin to play GameCube games on the PC. There are a few things you'll want to have in place before you proceed. A PC which more or less meets the minimum requirements detailed on the Dolphin website. Check out the FAQs on the Dolphin site for all details around system requirements if you wish to read more. A 64-bit installation of at least Windows 7 SP1 upwards for your OS, although older versions of Dolphin do work on 32-bit installations of Windows, but I definitely recommend going with a more up-to-date 64-bit version if possible. A wireless Bluetooth or USB controller. For this demonstration I am using an Xbox One controller, but the configuration process is the same for all other controllers too. And finally, a GameCube game image ISO to use, because without one, we can't play anything. First of all, visit dolphin-emu.org and click the download link, which will take you to the downloads page. If you do not have the 64-bit Visual C++ installation file already installed, click the highlighted link in red, download and install this prior to downloading Dolphin. We are going to download the latest beta version, which will include many of the latest developments since the release of the latest stable version. So, click the Windows X64 button to download. Once downloaded, Dolphin will need to be unpacked from its archive using something such as WinRAR to do so. The beta version will not have its own installer. It's a standalone application, so simply copy the Dolphin X64 folder wherever you wish. I'm going to just place mine on the desktop for this example. Next, open up the Dolphin X64 folder which you've just extracted and run the Dolphin executable file. You will now see the main Dolphin interface appear. It is here where you can access all of the necessary functions to get up and running. For this demonstration though, we're going to look at a few basic but crucial features. How to set up your controller. First of all, ensure your controller is connected to your PC, either by cable or wirelessly. Once you have your controller connected, click the controllers icon. Next, under the GameCube controllers section, click configure for the port 1 controller. It is here we will configure our controller to act as a GameCube controller. Select in the device drop down menu either X inputs or D inputs, depending on which controller you're using. For example, an Xbox One controller will use X input. Change this according to your own needs. Once you have done this, you can then begin to configure your controller by mapping your controller buttons to the on screen GameCube buttons. Once you've done this, you can save your settings by giving the configuration a name in the profile box and then clicking save. This means you can easily recall your settings at any time. You should only have to set up your controller once, as the last save configuration will be used as default. If you require additional controllers to be set up for multiplayer, repeat this process, but for ports 2 to 4 as necessary. Adding GameCube games to your library. You will need to source your own GameCube games to use with Dolphin, but if you already have a collection, Dolphin has a nice list or grid view that makes viewing your game library nice and easy. Simply go to Options, then Configuration. Open the Paths tab and click Add under the Game Folders section. Then you just need to add the directory where your games are stored. Once you've done this, you should see them appear in the main Dolphin window. Graphics settings. Dolphin has a range of settings that can enhance the resolution and rendering of your GameCube games. I recommend having a play around with the settings to suit your requirements and taste. But for now, let's set up a few basic tweaks and get a game running. First, click on the graphics icon in the Dolphin window. Next, depending upon your graphics card you have installed, let's set the back-end drop-down menu under the General tab selecting Direct3D11 and select your GPU in the Adapter section, or simply leave the back-end setting as OpenGL if you are unsure. Tick Use Full Screen if you wish to run GameCube games in full screen rather than within a window. Next, in the Shader Compilation section, if you have a reasonably good GPU installed in your system, select Synchronous Uber Shaders. Or if you have a lower-end system, just select Synchronous. If you have any performance issues when running games, you can also tick Compile Shaders before starting. This will essentially make the game take longer to boot, but will have more of a consistent performance if you have a lower spec system. Next, go to the Enhancements tab and select the following. 
internal resolution, set this to auto. Alternatively, you can select your monitor's native resolution if you know what it is in the setting you want. Anti-aliasing, we're going to go with 4 times MSAA. This will provide a decent level of upscaling and anti-aliasing in the game, so do play around with these settings to see what suits you in terms of emulate performance and visual fidelity. Finally, we'll want to launch a game to play, and this is really easy. Simply double click on a game in the list in the Dolphin window, and it will boot up. One useful thing to know is how Dolphin handles GameCube memory cards, which hold crucial save game data. Simply proceed when the game asks you if you want to save your game to a memory card and Dolphin will automatically create a memory card save file for you, which is then automatically picked up next time you load the game. Alternatively, there is a memory card management section in Dolphin where you can create virtual memory cards which can be saved to and then managed in Dolphin as required. So in terms of getting up and running and displaying your GameCube games in a nice high quality upscale resolution, you are already there. I do hope this guide has been useful in helping you get up and running playing GameCube games in Dolphin. If you have any questions or tips of your own, do leave them in the comments as I love to help out where I can and to learn new tricks myself. If you did find this video useful, I'm always grateful for any likes or subscriptions to help me grow the channel. Thanks for watching, I'll see you soon.